In 1958, the Soviet Ministry of Defense, concerned with the mobility of heavy artillery, tasked the department responsible for developing all-terrain vehicles to create something special. A four-axle heavy-duty truck capable of transporting nine tons of cargo and serving as a platform for powerful domestic artillery was needed. This ambitious project was codenamed NAMI 058. The engineers faced a difficult task, but they found an elegant solution. They based the design on the already proven Ural 375, a reliable and straightforward truck. This approach allowed them to save time and resources, focusing on key innovations. Almost all the major components, engine, transmission, and chassis, were inherited from the Ural. However, the frame and cabin were entirely original. The cabin was not just any cabin, it consisted of two separate parts arranged one behind the other, with huge panoramic windows. Imagine the luxurious view offered to the drivers of this extraordinary truck. Under the hood of the NAMI 058 was a powerful heart, a 39-liter diesel engine inherited from a tracked artillery tractor. This giant engine produced 275 horsepower and worked in tandem with a five-speed manual transmission. To fuel this massive engine, two fuel tanks with a total capacity of 400 liters were installed. Of course, the fuel consumption was substantial, 50 liters per 100 kilometers, but considering the truck's power and off-road capability, fuel efficiency could be sacrificed. The electrical system operated on a standard 12V network for the time. The NAMI 058 was a true heavy-duty vehicle. It could tow a 10-ton trailer and reach speeds of up to 70 km per hour on highways. Naturally, its speed dropped to 28 km per hour off-road, but for a truck of this class, it was still a respectable figure. The first prototype of the NAMI 058 was completed in 1960. In the summer of 1961, it, along with other promising four-axle vehicles, was presented to senior Ministry of Defense officials. By October of the same year, the vehicle was set to undergo serious testing at a special proving ground, where the NAMI 058 was to prove its superiority by competing against similar vehicles from the Moscow and Bryansk automobile factories. Unfortunately, despite the scale of the project, with 210 designers from 21 research institutes involved, the NAMI 058 was unable to outpace its competitors in all areas. In the spring of 1962, after weighing the pros and cons, the military commission chose the Ural 135L, which later became the ZL 135L. The Institute was advised to continue work on its project, and unfortunately, these recommendations were only implemented in 1963. By the following year, in 1964, the upgraded NAMI 058T was introduced, a semi-cab truck tractor that continued the legacy of this unique vehicle. 